And today, I mean, this is just unbelievable. I mean, listen, this... So Kew Gardens now is going to publish more details of where the plants in Kew Gardens come from and how they came to make their way to Britain. I'll, I'll say that again because apparently it's controversial. Kew Gardens is going to display more information regarding the journey of its plants from their countries of origin into the UK. And that journey will, in many cases, involve uh, colonialism and the slave trade. We would not have been in the countries from where these plants have come if we weren't there to enslave people and colonise. Now, I don't feel guilty about this. I go to Kew Gardens all the time. I'd love to know more about where those plants come from. It's one of the questions you find yourself asking, actually, once it's pointed, why, what the hell, how did that get here? I, I can't even remember the history of the botanical side of it, but Queen Charlotte used to live in, in, in Kew Gardens, who I think was married to George III, the fellow that used to talk to trees. God, this is the content you come for, isn't it? So, genuine question, and we might once again find ourselves speculating on other people's anger rather than you explaining to me what it is you're actually angry about. Here's someone called... Uh, Sir John Hayes, a Tory MP, in response to reports that Kew Gardens in southwest London is going to provide more information regarding how the plants in Kew Gardens came to be in Kew Gardens. Sir John Hayes, a Tory MP, says, This is typically bourgeois liberal arrogance, which is ill-fitting of people that get public funding. In the absence of John Hayes, perhaps you could tell me what it is he's cross about. I go to a stately home, I walk through the door, uh, there's a visitor centre on my right, full of information about how that stately home got to be built. Where did the money come from? Turns out a lot of it came from colonial, colonialism and enslavement. It does not enjoy, it does not impinge upon my enjoyment of my visit to that home. Makes me look slightly differently at some of the pictures of the fellas on the wall in the big oil paintings, because part of me is thinking, I wonder whether they were the ones that were uh, raping and pillaging their way through the West Indies. But it doesn't change the pleasure of my visit to the house. It just makes me think more... Oh. It just makes me think more. Is that what people are cross about? I don't want to have to think about the past when I go to Kew Gardens. I can just about get my head around that. But I don't want to have to think about the past when I visit a historic house. Come on. Shall I open up the phone lines? Why are people so frightened of our own country's history? <laughs> 